Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks. Listen, um, had an opportunity to um, purchase uh, Fluten live. A um, couple things I like about it, a couple things I don't like about it, but they said that they were going to be changing a lot. And here's what the, one of the challenges that I have or one of the the reservations that I initially had. Um, this reminded me of another tool. I'm not gonna say their name here, um, but they kept saying, hey, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And they were something else originally, but because the landscape had changed because of uh, COVID and the other things that changed, they started switching their business model. The challenge with switching your business model is you have to be ready to uh, embrace a new set of, uh, entrepreneurs or people looking at your tool. So if you were always doing this, or if you were always in a health business or health fitness business, and you want to also, now you want to become mainstream, that's a challenge if everything is not set up in place. This is a company, Fluten Live. They've been around um, for several years, by at least four years. And they were a company that basically did uh, videos for, they allow people to monetize their videos or showcase their singing or their talent online. And this is a good, um, this is a good approach when you're trying to monetize on YouTube and you can't monetize yet. You can't actually ask people for donations and or um, to make contributions. What this tool allows you to do is that this tool allows you to do that. It allows you to get paid, have people send you a drink or have people pay to give you a shout out. Let me show you a couple of those features and how they go. I don't want to take too much of your time. But I just want to walk through the basic features of it. This is an event that I put together um, and I'm going to tell you the challenges that I have with this event. Um, so if you go to my events first, you can go to channels now. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I manage a lot of channels and I manage uh, a lot of clients from here and I have unlimited um, channels that I can manage with the, the deal that I have set up um, available to you Instagram live those here's the thing you could stream from those channels and still be able to collect payment and uh, or have people send you money as well so as you have here you have your Facebook Live, your YouTube Live, Twitch, Instagram, and you can set up a custom RTMP, right? And for this particular brand, I'm going to use the Financial Evangelist, so I tag that on, right? So any one of these that I'm connected to, again, I have unlimited. These are just a few that I have, a couple of my clients, a couple of myself, and I can toggle on which event I'm trying to create this for. So I think that's good as well. Um, this is a video library for videos i don't know the actual what do i actually have for uh, video storage I have to take a look at that but you can upload those here these are if you want to play them uh pre-recorded right and then this is a place for your subscribers when people come and subscribe and then your profile and then your payments one of the things on payments is what you do is you go here there is no um there is no Stripe. You have to put in your bank account number and your your account number here, um, and then they'll send the payments to you. So they'll get the money, then they'll send the payments to you. Um, or you can just put in your, um, you also can put in your PayPal number as well. So again, that's it. And then this is just my custom plan. What do I have here? What, I, what I've purchased? But one of the things I want you to take a look at and the reason why is let me go to my events and let's look at my event. This is an event that I created, right? I'm going to do a live streaming event on December 18th. Um, I have it published here already, but let's, let's look at the event itself. So these are the different things that you can set up in the event. It's published now. Um, this is the basic information. Let me take you through that really quick. All right. So what you do is you upload a, um, an image here, right? You name the event. S some of the same things you'd have to put into a YouTube, um, event page. And then you have to select here, um, what event category, then you put your tags in here and then you put event what you have there. And then you just save from there. So that's the basics of your event page right there. 
um, we'll confirm and then the communication right and so your communication is how do you want people to know do you want people to get an invite sent to them um, registration notification event reminder and a thank you email all of those are already here activate if you wish uh, your flute and followers and event subscribers to be notified of your upcoming events. So you do all of that here. Okay. So let me, I think there's a way I can go back here. All right. And so then monetize, um, let's set, let's take a look at that. This is, this is the big thing. This is what everybody keeps looking at, right? So what you can do is you can have people, um, buy me a drink. I have that activated. Uh, allow your audience to buy you virtual gifts whose value will be credited to your account. So whatever that virtual gift is, it'll be credited to your account. Uh, allow your audience to pay you for fulfilling their requests like shout outs and exclusive performances. I'm going to show you how that looks. And then this is if you want to turn it into a ticketed event right now, my event is free. If I want to make it a ticketed event, I would turn that on and then I request a payment to actually get into the event. You got to Listen. These are the types of things that you can't get from uh, just a regular uh, streaming application. You don't have the abilities to to have monetization turned on. And I think that's one of the unique things. I think that's what I'm really, really liking about Fluten. I'm going to give them an opportunity because I see their premises. I think where their slow start is because they were music first, but then they've shifted. They're going to they gotta make a couple of different changes to get caught up. One of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to change the logo and those types of things. Let me take you back to where I can actually, um, let me see, go to, here's my public page on how it looks, right? This is my page. When you go to, they give you a URL that you go to that you can share. This is how my public page looks. Now, one of the challenges I had is everything still shows up in purple, right? That's one of Fluton's colors, or there may be a way that I can change the colors. I just don't know how to do that. Um, so I have a lot of colors going here. I'm going to change the scheme of my photo, but that color that's green. This is red. I only use a red so it'll pop more. Um, I have a blue suit on my logo is blue, but I would like to have brought my aesthetics a little bit closer to what my brand colors are. I only put this up to see what picture would fit. This is not going to be my end all picture here, but I don't have the ability to, um, to change the colors. So that's one thing. Second thing is the actual flute and logo is still there. So let me try to go into the room and this is a longer video than I thought. But, um, all right. So this is actually my page. I can see who's, following who's not following let me go back here all right so let me take you inside of the actual event page here and this is what comes up here this is my actual event page and how things will show on the actual event page and what you can do is you can see how many views are there you can see how many drinks were bought for you you can see what kind of requests you have and so on and so forth how many subscribers you have um, so one of the other things I wanted to show you, um, one of the things I wanted to do was take you into what the actual studio looks like once you get ready to go live. So this is what it looks like when you get ready to go live, right? So, um, this is one, what you can do here is you can change the branding, right? You can go in here and this right here, you can change that. You can, I can hide it. I can have no branding. I can show the flute in live branding. I can take that off. You can upload one here, right? So you can do that if you need to. So that'll upload a new logo there. So that's the branding that shows up there, right? And then another thing. So this is how it looks. This is how your window looks. One of the things here I thought, and I think they're going to work on is removing that. I can see why they had this because when you go, when I click on this, it's going to take you somewhere else. And I want you to be able to see that a little bit later, but I get the reason why they have that there. And I know what they're trying to do, but I'm going to show you in a few minutes, um, what that means. So you see this little follow me at retirement exit, uh, dot com 
that's part of the caption here that you can add. So if someone asks you for a shout out, you can say, hey, give me a shout out. Hey, I'm uh, uh, Joe. So I'll say, hey, follow Joe. Because Joe says, hey, send me, since you're an influencer, Jenny, tell people to follow me and I'll put follow Joe at, at Joe Cool, right? And I can say that and says, hey, why don't you guys, if you all you guys are liking what you're hearing, Joe Cool is my guy. Why don't you follow him? I can put that here on the, the screen here. Okay. So I can make that one show. I can hide this one, the one I had, and I can make that one show. Hey, follow Joe. He's a cool guy. The challenges, again, that I have with that, again, it's, it's in purple. It's not giving me my brand colors or my aesthetics there. And you have your mic here. You have your share screen and then coming soon, they said you'd have guests. And then these are some other, um, yeah, these are webcams and different things like that. Your input that you would have for your mic and stuff like that. So that's what that is. And if I want to add, it's just, you know what, I was gonna add it on that channel, but let me add it on another channel. I can actually, these are the, these confirms the channels that I have that I've added for this one. So you can see the chat and this is the live, this is if we go live, this is what you will see. The name, the title, the date and everything. And then these are the two channels that it's broadcasting to. So it's broadcasting to your regular page on fruit, on uh, flute in, and it's, and it's broadcasting to my Facebook page here. Okay. So that's a Facebook page. And again, I can have unlimited streams as well. Let me show you something else before I close out. Um, wanted to show you here it is right here this is flutens this is their page right this they have their own uh page that they have that they're 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 trying to have a a um a room if you will to showcase all the different people that are on their platform which i think is can be good i think there's a setting on there that i can either display on this in this room or i don't have to display in this room i get that for monetization monetization purposes i think this makes a lot of sense for them as a business and their viability and so these are the people that are on there now again they have clients that are on there now right but look who's there i'm actually there so if somebody says hey you know i like this marketplace that they have and if they're if fluten is promoting fluten and they're doing they're promoting hey this is where you can catch all the latest live streams or different subjects and topics if they're doing their promoting on their end then someone will eventually find me here. They may not know who I am and I may get discovered from here. And someone says, hey, you know what? Let me register for this, this midnight money thing or money never sleeps by Jenny Jones. What is he gonna be talking about? I'm interested in knowing about that. And then they click on there and then, they, and then they, um, they're able to register for your event as well. So those, I, that is the reason why you still see the flute and live because I think there's a bigger overall brand um, that they're trying to promote, which if I understand the vision of that, I think this doubles down and triples down your return on your investment. So again, um, I like the tool. I purchased a full five stack on it, but I, I think the, the tool is gonna make some tweaks and they're gonna get better. I've seen other tools come along that's almost ready. And once they finish with the, with the updates, it really becomes a tool to be reckoned with. This is one of those tools that allows you an opportunity as a small solo solo entrepreneur gives you the ability to um, start monetizing your um, your content. This is a great, excellent tool um, in that aspect. Um, hope you're doing well. If you wanted to pick it up, of course, I have a link um, below in the description. If you want to at least buy me a drink or buy me coffee, it's about how much you make off of these. Uh, referral links, but it's just something to consider if you were and if you if I if you were on the fence and you did want to look at this a little bit more, you can pick up on that. Again, this has been Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks, Marketing Secrets. Hey, listen, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, a lot of use cases. I'm going to show you guys later on. I'm going to come back later in another video and show you how I was able to actually deploy this into my ecosystem and how it trickles down and creates clients and customers from it. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Be safe. Take care. Goodbye for now.